Hello, everybody. Welcome back. It is, oh my gosh. <clears throat> Take that out. It is cold season. No, it's cold just... season. Okay. Over. Okay. Okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. It is October the 11th, show 31. That is ridiculous. The number <laughs> keeps grind, uh, climbing and climbing. But keeps grinding. We keep grinding. We keep grinding. Sometimes. People might. Tell, say otherwise we have a we have a few breaks here and there yeah. but people don't want us every week we have I nothing would, to say yeah <laughs> i would say we're pretty on par but yeah it's cold that's the biggest <laughs> thing i can say the yeah, shift happened so quick the biggest change has been like two weeks and we went from like i feel like september was pretty warm this year it was yeah it was like warm. i was still sweating every time i was walking outside um but we went from that to now it's like perfect sweatpants you can wear a hoodie if you want you can wear like i wore this today but i brought a hoodie like it's like really frosty in the morning yeah my car i had to um it it was just my windshield but like you could tell like it was close it was coming there yeah no winter Um, is coming that's a super exciting time uh because i love the fall and i'm sick of sweating i'm sick of sweating um i need to buy more fall decorations i think i lost them all in the move or something i have no idea but she's not a fall decoration girly, so but some of you guys get me. Some of you guys get excited with me. I just don't think I've been the family to do like please, people, if you're from Australia, answer this or slash my family. If I have a skewed memory, please let me know. But I cannot remember buying like pumpkins and like leaf colored and leaf decorated. Well your stuff leaves and... don't change in the fall. Yeah, they do. We have orange leaves. Or okay, at this time of year, I mean. In, in October. Yeah, but we still have fall. I know, but I'm saying, but it's probably like different because ours is like so tied into the holidays, like with Halloween and Thanksgiving, and like that's like the yeah. orange and the. Yeah. I mean, like at this time of year, you're not decorating with like because at Christmas it's opposite season, but you still use the same like you use tree and all that stuff. Yeah. But this time of year, you you're not gonna decorate with leaves and stuff like that. True. But we also just don't celebrate Thanksgiving. I know that's what really I'm saying. Halloween. I know that's what I'm saying. So it's a different season. Yeah. Like, it's a different feel, completely. Um, that, that was a little sneak peek into what we're going to get into later, because we're going to keep talking about Australia and U.S. things. We're actually going to quiz each other on, like, little history things, because I'm confident in the fact that I know nothing about Australia, and I want to see how much, like, common you know, knowledge she's accrued. You know how difficult it is as a sociology slash criminology major to sit in my American college classrooms and just be assumed that I know laws and the way things work and what the difference is between the governments and the state level stuff. That's just to add an extra level of work that people haven't really appreciated me to do. No, I can't, I can't imagine that because it's just like, well, we'll see, we'll see, but like such common knowledge things, I feel like, like I would have no idea about Australia. But we're going to get into that. So, guys, don't let us talk too long in the recap because last time we were going to do this, but we couldn't shut up. We had too much to talk about. Yeah. So, let's jump right in. Uh, the first thing we wanted to talk about, or me, because I need to acknowledge and appreciate Georgia for this, is that Georgia's starting to get in a musical theater. Um, I would take that slightly. I do love a good uh, musical movie. Uh, such as High School Musical, um, stuff like that. But we did go and watch a play, and I was kind of listening to the soundtrack because it slapped. When we went to watch Six, it was actually like eight weeks ago. Maybe we t- 12, I'm sure we talked about it when we went. Um, but I don't know why. I think I was listening to a radio on Spotify, and it just came up, and I was like, hmm. I remember it. I kind of vibed with it. Added it to my playlist, and then I spent literally two hours the other night just watching like songs from old like childhood movies. No, literally, that's what I was gonna. This is a segue into the fact that we sat on the couch and watched YouTube clips of like what there was hairspray in there. Oh, hairspray, love that, love yeah. that one. High School Musical, yep. Six, the musical, obviously, like that one is so good. By the way, and I had no idea it basically started in like 2021. So no idea. I didn't know that it got go. stopped. The production got stopped because of COVID. Yeah. That was fascinating. I didn't know any of it. Um, yeah. But now I'm trying to encourage this Broadway phase of Georgia's or musical phase um, because I love it, you guys. Like, it's like one of my hobbies. Um, she's not into Hamilton yet, but we'll see. Once again, American overload history. of American history. This would help you. This would help you. Um, I, I feel like being in the second last semester of my undergrad, I've, I've discovered enough knowledge to get me this far yeah okay well I'm, I'm very curious to see what that is i'm gonna be embarrassed with the australian stuff i hope you know um also we were watching the high school musical stuff last night and was zach efron always that small like i was really watching this like i thought this man was like big and bulky and like what do you want to know when he got big and bulky 
Okay. When they started filming Baywatch. Are you serious? I'm being dead ass. Okay. Why are you talking like so secretive? I'm not. I'm just saying, like, it came up my TikTok because they were like, Zach Efron's box. Okay, I'm a bodybuilder TikTok. <laughs> they were like, Zach Efron's ab workout when he was training for Baywatch. And it was like a before and after. And it was like, he got bulk. And I guess he just kept it. Also, he like low key lives in Australia. Do you know that? No, but he's like been in and out of I can see like him. Sydney and stuff like that. I think. Yeah. The plastic surgery is also crazy, but apparently he fell and like messed up his face. So I do feel bad for saying that. <laughs> if it's true, because if I got plastic surgery, best believe I'm making up some excuse. Oh my gosh, I'm not commenting on his surgery. He can do whatever makes him feel whatever. Oh yeah, go ahead. But if you're gonna make an excuse, so will I. Yeah. Okay. Um, anyways, he's tiny. I think he weighs 80 pounds in High School Musical. I could just pick him up with my pinky. I, I could eat him for breakfast. Definitely. Snack. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I just didn't really remember that part. I think I've grown a lot since then, mentally and physically, so I just forgot. Um, also, the next thing, yes, it's been getting cold, and that means my mind goes straight to Christmas, and I did, in fact, listen to my first uh, Christmas song of 2020 through... What? God, I just forgot what year it was. 2023, um, yeah, I had to break that out last weekend because I was also home with my family and whenever we're all together, it's so rare, it feels like a holiday. So I basically brainwashed myself into thinking it was Christmas. I have been for, here for four years and I'm yet to have that instant um, connection. Like as soon as it gets cold, I just, oh, well, it's cold. I'm not like, oh. Can you, you guys hear our dryer? Be honest. <laughs> it's okay. That's Pardon awesome. the interruption. Sorry. Yeah, you have yet to we the dryer. You know our audio is always bad, so let's just keep it going with that. Um, <laughs> you're talking about you've yet to get the something in America. Oh uh, yeah, like the instant connection when it gets cold that it's Christmas time. Like I just don't vibe with that. I don't feel that. It's not a body function. As soon as it gets cold, I start thinking hibernation and school. School. As as get, yeah, because it's like usually the worst part of school is like the middle of the year and it's cold and mm. for us. I don't know. When I think Christmas, we, we get like a six week break from school. We're so lucky, or four, four and a half. We're so lucky on that uh, regard. But we get um, like three months off in the summertime. No, because we're in, we're in summer classes. Like this is our longest break of no school. We're in summer classes. Oh, yeah, but. Those still come for me. Yep. But- my summer classes have been hard lately. <laughs> Not as much this year, but back in the day when I was an undergrad, yeah. Um, but anyways, Georgia, when do you think is appropriate to start listening to Christmas music, put up the Christmas tree, all like that stuff? December the 15th. Are you joking? <laughs> Maybe You're trying 12th. to make me mad. No, December the 12th. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. You're going to do all that work, put up the Christmas tree for two weeks? Yeah. Are you joking? Okay, we put a Christmas tree up that... Sh- Thing of a boy was getting infested by spiders. Wait, do you not put up a Christmas tree? We do. We used to have real ones, and number one, it would just be a pain in the butt because I had the worst allergies in the world. Number two, spiders would just get in the water stuff and in the tree, mm-hmm. and like we would have spiders on the floor. It's so like when we get our presents, there could be. Sp- but I think we've resorted. I say I think we. I haven't been home for Christmas, for friggin' four and a half years. I think they use plastic trees. I'm not yeah. sure. When I was home, it was real. Okay, well, my family has um, one real tree and, like, four plastic ones. Yeah, that's another crazy thing. I think we only have really had one up. That's not crazy, though. My, fam- <laughs> my family's just different. Um, <coughs> but usually because our, because, like, December for us, it's, like, winding down the school year, winding down work. Like, you finish quite close to whatever, so it's, like, and it's summertime. Like, maybe you put up the tree for a week so you have to take it down to go to the beach house. That is a life I don't. I can't comprehend right now. No, I see. I say seriously, like after Thanksgiving, I'd probably do it. But if you want to put it up on November 1st, I'm all for it. Whatever you want. But I'm an after Thanksgiving right away girl. A Black Friday Christmas tree is going up. We Um, had the apartment when we used to live with Kayla too. Like they had this cute little put up the Christmas decorations night. And I think you put it up. I just come home and it's up. And I'm like, oh, no, that's so sad because I get so much joy out of it now. Yeah, because Kayla doesn't love this anymore, and Georgia has no fun with me. Um, whenever, like, Raven's here, I make her do it with me, but she she loves it, so it's a mutually beneficial thing. Do you like what it's up? Like, the ambiance is excellent. Yeah. Yeah? 
Okay, okay. Um, but yeah, Christmas music, you know, you can do whatever you want. That, whatever makes you As happy. long as it's not the same five songs on replay, like have some variety, have some cute little... I want to hear friggin... You can't even think of one. It's the most... Eight oh, no. times over. Like, have the playlist with some variety, some mix up, some old, some new. I don't want to hear the Macy's department store playlist over ten times over. I do. I get I so much. I, I get mad walking into stores and oh, okay. Anyways, it's too early to talk this much about Christmas. Okay, it's literally October. Let's get into some random thoughts. Um, I cannot remember what. On, oh, I do remember. I was listening to a podcast and people were saying that they didn't wash their jeans like ever. Like, this girl was legit saying, like, she never washed her jeans. Like, who does that? It completely changes them. And that really got me thinking, because I used to wash them all the time in high school, but now in college, like, I will stretch out, like, the time between washes as long as I can, because it does change them so much. But, like, what is your take on that? I have two things. Number one, I'm the same. I'm With my jeans, I only wash it if it's, like, I, they, I drop something on them. Like, I got a little hot, like, sweaty or, like, okay. active in them or, like, I went out and partied in them. I'll wash them after that. But aside from that, I'll try and like, either like hang them in the air so they like filter. I don't know if that's gross or not, but. Let's be honest. And then I put them in. But I saw a TikTok of um, Cowboy. For some reason, I'm a Western TikTok too. Like You're on weird Western. TikToks. <laughs> Anyways, it's when they like bleach their jeans and like they, have you seen that? Mm-hmm. Please tell me you guys know what I'm talking about. Can you explain? <sighs> They like pour bleach or something on their jeans and like fold it over so they have like these creases and they say stiff as anything i don't know i don't know the it's just a style i guess okay. but they turn the jeans they fill up a bathtub turn their jeans inside out let them soak and then they put so like soap in it let them soak again drain the <coughs> tub and then they like fill it up and like rinse it again and just hang dry okay that's a lot like of work. so it avoids like the tumble process of it yeah sure and it's just like lukewarm bath water so are you gonna consider that? No, it's too much <laughs> effort. I'll buy the fifty dollar pair of jeans off of ASOS. Like, you gonna buy new jeans? Okay, so for me, I'm not like a luxury jean girl. Actually, the past two pairs I've bought have been luxury. But previously, you're a luxury girl. Period. Now, I wouldn't say luxury. I would just say like I've bought like better quality things because I spent so much of my life buying cheap clothing, trying to catch a steal, and I just end up ripping a hole in them or something yeah. like that. But um, or just not being like cute for more than two weeks yeah then... like fast fashion type of stuff yeah but now i've like actually bought jeans like i'm less lenient to like just chuck them in the wash all the time but when i have like cheaper jeans like, in there i don't care yeah it does ruin them though i still think like i don't know i don't know i don't know where i'm at guys i i wash them when i need to but i think like i take them off as soon as i get home not only because they're a little uncomfy, but also just because I don't want to ruin them. Jeans also get this, like, certain jean smell when you've, like, been in the elements. You know, like, there's yeah. a jean I think, smell. I think the jean material absorbs the, like, outdoors Outdoor and the smell. environment. Yeah. And also sweat. And, guys, I sweat. <laughs> okay. And then, okay, the next thing we wanted to talk about is lately we've been, well, I, I have. You can speak for yourself. I've been in and out. Yeah, I've sing. been trying to get into the NHL. Like, I just, I love sports, and I want, like, my goal in life is to find a sport for all year round so that I'm never, like, deprived of having sports to watch. Mm-hmm. Um, NHL is, like, during a bunch of different things, so that's not really like NBA. a solve for that. But yeah. also, it's, like, every night. For now, it's good. Every night, there's going to be something on, yeah. Um, but it's also just so fun. And, like, now I'm dying to go to a game. I want a jersey, and I want to go to a game. That's my dream. Also, I'm trying to pick a team. So what team should I pick? I say Boston Bruins, but that's because – Apparently, I'm a Red Sox fan, but that's only because I like... <laughs> like what? The logo. Okay. Tell them, not me. Um, you can't blame <laughs> me. I'm not from any state here, so I can pick and choose. I just like the freedom. I have freedom. Actually, that's a lie, because I like watching the Boston Celtics. So I was like, oh, Red Sox. I also like the logo, so I guess I'll stick with the Boston area. Mm-hmm. Just not the Patriots, I guess, because they kind of stink. Oh, that's kind of... That's like a personality trait, though, for people to pick teams that are bad and be like, I still... Yeah. Hard times. Um... I've completely lost my train of thought now that you said that. What was I going to say? Saying- oh, I got a comment on something that was like, y- you've uh, you've not uh, you've done Georgia a disservice by letting her have a Yankees and a Red Sox hat. Esco style. I'm not having a bias to anything. Yeah, no ties. So you don't actually. No ties. I, and you want know. you want to know what else? I have a pair of Dodgers shorts, and you know what? One day I wore the Dodgers short. And the Yankees hat. You tell me how you feel about that. Did you really? Yeah. I mean, I don't think they were being mean. I think they were No, I know. Scared. I'm just saying I have no, like, sometimes I just, <laughs> look, 
it gets to the point where I try not to mix baseball with baseball. Maybe I'll do like baseball with NBA or like mm. football, whatever. But there was one day I was feeling a bit rowdy and I did two sure. polar opposite baseball teams sure. on one outfit. Yeah. Um, okay, well, my three teams you guys help me pick. Between Seattle Kraken, Boston Bruins, and Carolina Hurricanes, that's where I'm from. story behind Seattle is that we played in the arena, number one. But number two, when we had free time in Seattle, Sweet 16, we did buy some shirts and a hat. I do have a Seattle I have a hat. Kraken t-shirt. And they had jerseys, and I was so close to buying one. But it was, like, too expensive. I'm, like, I'm never going to wear this, like, yeah. for funsies. Yeah. Boston, though, I feel like I can wear. But also, for some reason, is this weird of me to, like, Pittsburgh? No, no. Like this, like the Why Steelers. Would be weird? No, like something about black and oh yellow to me is just like Steelers was like that team in elementary school and middle school that like everyone loved, and that was just annoying because that was when they were really good, um, and it was like a bandwagon. I don't know. But no, but not, guess, now they're. I don't know if they are or not. It's not. I guess that's why the Boston jerseys also stick out to me because yeah. they're kind of black and yellow. I don't know what black and yellow is kind of ugly, and you know, I feel like they're <laughs> Australian. That's Richmond Tigers colors. Like that's kind of weird. Oh, well, nobody knows over here. Um. Okay, I think that's good for a recap. We've already talked for like 15 minutes. For some reason, we keep doing that. Um, now looking forward, we do have homecoming this weekend, which as a student athlete, I must admit, I literally know nothing about that. I didn't know that until someone just informed me, and I don't know what it means. Do you? You have to talk on the podcast. I don't know what it means. <laughs> I believe that I've seen it in movies, just as I had frat houses mm-hmm. and um, prom and all that type of cultural stuff so i assumed it was real i just didn't know what it was yeah well fair enough i don't know either in college i don't really know the point or anything um that we're, we're not downplaying it for any people who are really excited about homecoming by no the way. we're just just so removed. unaware yeah i would love to um, be a part yeah i would love to have fun yeah no. like parents weekend like i get so jealous yeah seeing all the cute freshmen walk up with their parents like come on yeah that was really cute um but regardless, I'm looking forward to this weekend because they're playing Wake, and that's my dad's alma mater. So fun. Go Hokies. Is Wake good? I have no idea. Oh, yeah, they are they, good, they, aren't they? No, they used to be pretty what? good because they're mean? quarterback <clears throat> Jesus oh. transfers to Notre Dame. <coughs> they still right. might be good. I don't know, but I remember he was, like, a main reason why they were so good. Sam Howell? Yeah, something like that. Okay, you keep talking. I'm going to look up if they're good. Um, well, now you should put me on the spot. Yeah, come on. Um, well, I've been in a Coke Zero phase, but I'm trying to phase out, so I'm trying to drink more, like, sparkling water, because I just, like... Okay, like, you're good. Okay. Do you want to keep talking? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They're three and two, and they're not ranked, so okay. we have a chance. Or, not that we wouldn't... Okay, whatever. <laughs> Any time you play someone, you have a chance. Yeah. It's literally cool. Possibility. We're rooting Go Hokies. Um, anyways, since it's homecoming week... Uh, let's get into our first ad. This is a perfect segue. It's homecoming week when lots of Hokies are making their way back to Blacksburg, and it's the perfect time to be looking for a home here. Whether it's to use for football games, a place to live when you retire, or if you have a student at Tech to consider building equity instead of renting. So if you're looking at buying a place in or around Blacksburg, give Dave a call at 540-346-4552 and let Phillips Real Estate help you find your new home this homecoming weekend. Short and sweet, but the point was made. That is a good idea. I wish low-key my parents bought a house instead of us renting, but we've got a great place, so life goes on. Um, Now into our first segment, we have things to talk about with the Roommate Report Card, and Roommate Report Card is brought to you by 310 Rosemont. If you're looking for some awesome apparel or shoes or accessories or whatever you can imagine, uh, go down to Main Street at 310 Rosemont and mention Queens of Castle for 15% off. We love them there. And yeah, go get some new things. You deserve it. Um, Roommate report card, Georgia, go. Okay, so for the weekend, Liz went home. I stayed. It was like our last official full weekend off before things get rolling. So I stayed here. I had like three exam, video, movie. I just had a bunch of homework that I knew if I went to Greensboro when I had Raven at my beck and call, I just wouldn't get done. So I had knuckled in, dialed in. But Winnie stayed with me and I gave her an A just because she was cute. We spooned. We were, we were very close. Um, she did wake me up a couple of times at like two, but it's fine. She's cute. Yeah. She gets an egg. She's cute. She's a good companion and she makes me feel I safe. I know. I miss her so much. Any sound at the door. <laughs> oh, she's up. Have you guys ever known? Oh, 
She will come for you. Come for you. And you, you, if you've never seen, if you've never seen Winnie before, and you just heard the bark, you would think it's a eighty pound wa- beast. Not wild. Yeah, she's a she's an intimidating bark. I must yep. admit. Um, but yep. then she's so sweet. She's so sweet. Yeah. No, she's a, no, she's mean. Yeah, don't no, don't, come, mean. don't mess with us. Mean as hell. You literally. Anyways. Yeah, Winnie deserves an A for everything because she's adorable. She um, as Georgia mentioned, I did go home and I'll give Raven an A only because she's pretty cute and because she's been dying for me to talk about her on this podcast. Um, she's been killing us for the fact that we've removed her segment. <laughs> that's a Raven, but that's really just because... Um, it's an e- executive decision. Exactly. Sure. Business. B- business. Business decision, yeah. Uh, but hopefully during the season we'll be able to see her more and we can throw that segment back in uh but raven you gotta do something funny so yeah but don't get in trouble we're slacking a bit <laughs> yeah you've been slacking. really slacking she's gonna take that so personally good because then she's gonna text me and that's just not even gonna be funny she's not even trying to be funny <laughs> then it just takes away everything i know i know she's much she's much more funny when she Naturally. doesn't try to be funny yeah Naturally. so remember that girl she's listening um she's always our first listener i fully believe that um but yeah, next, let's get into Song of the Week, which is brought to you by Hokey House. Head down to Hokey House, listen to some great music, have some great food. There's a jukebox on the second floor, so go play your Song of the Week or play our Song of the Week. You might not want to play my Song of the Week this week. Uh, you might get bullied, but Georgia, you can tell them what they can play. <laughs> some country music. <laughs> I've been trying to get into country. I don't know. Just because I feel like my time in rural Virginia might be winding down within either this year or next year. Who knows? I need to appreciate where I am, the mm. mountains, because never again will I live in the mountains. <laughs> Why? No offense. Just not used to it. Just a bit cold. Just a bit. Uh, yeah, let's cut uh, you off right there. I'm scared of what you're going to say. No, uh, uh, away from everything. Yeah. A there, bit, yeah, it is. It is kind of. It's sad. a cute like getaway place. Like I would love it for a cute little like getaway. Like if I had a rent house, whatever. But like I definitely need to be busy. No, it's sad that, like, the, the biggest city, like, D.C. or whatever, is, like, four hours away because we do see, like, the Notre Dame girls. Like, they can go to Chicago in, like, yeah. an hour. And that would be really, really fun. Um, but we're definitely trying That's to – we, No, we're definitely appreciating it while we're here. Like, lately we'll be driving, and it'll be, like, roads we've been on, like, 400 times. So we'll yeah. be, like – I'll be, like, oh, my God, Georgia, like, look at that mountain. Yeah. Like, look at those mountains. And, like, we'll just, like, soak it in for a sec because we know, like, we're so used to it, but yeah. it's gorgeous it's here. Different. Like, it's stunning. Yeah. No, it's very different. And it's, like, just so – there's, like, peace within it. Like, it's yeah. a college town. There's, like – obviously, you get, like, crazy people when you go out downtown or whatever like that. But overall, the general vibe is just, like, peaceful and whatever. So I'm taking it in, relaxing while I can, and then trying to listen to some good country music to accompany it. Yeah, why don't you list some of the country – because you made a playlist, didn't you? Uh, it was just basic stuff. I will get back to it when I've thorough, thoroughly gone through it, okay. filtered it. Found some good stuff. Okay. Um, some artists. So you had Luke Bryan. You had like um, Dan and Shay. Um, Luke Combs. Luke Combs. So good stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah. I used to listen to country like all the time in high school. So it's really nostalgic hearing it. I'm sure my dad will be happy uh, listening to this because he likes country too. Um, but it just reminds me of being like 13 again. And yeah. That's sweet and innocent. Um, but yeah, I'm very surprised. Like, do people listen to country in Australia? I actually think so. Really? Yeah. We, I mean, we do have the country, and I know that Luke, Luke Combs just toured, and I know that a lot of people oh, went there. Oh, that's true. Like, he is very popular. Yeah. I, yeah. Okay. And, like, I listened to, mu- like, some country music before I got here, but I feel like I just got here in the country, and I had, like, a whole lot of different, like, level to it. Yeah. I got, okay, she farted. Did she? That's not, that wasn't me, though. <laughs> I saw it. Um, I get here and they're like beers on the deck at Smith Mountain Lake and sunset, sunrise. Are you no, that's just the vibes. Like it fits country music. You're yeah. Saying? Or was it? Oh, it was the country music and the ambiance just connected, and I was like, wow. It was too much at once. You know, you're easing into yeah. it. Yeah. No, that makes total sense. Um, so yeah, if you guys go play country at Hokie House, it'll be a hit for sure. It'll be a hit. Um, but if you go play, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas by Michael Bublé. Probably not. Right now. Probably not right now. Like 10 days before Christmas? Yeah. Mm, maybe like 30. Uh, 20, 23. But regardless, that's my song of the week just because it was making me so happy as I was driving. I did so much driving this weekend. Um, and I'm usually listening, listening to podcasts or audiobooks, but I was vibing to the Christmas music and it helped the time pass. Um, so yeah. 
And now let's hear from a new sponsor before we get into our quizzes. Georgia, do you have your quiz questions ready? Yeah. Okay. Our new sponsor is Adjust in RV. Uh, we want to tell you about something that's been a game changer for us. Dr. Brooke at Adjust in RV, your local chiropractor near Virginia Tech, is on a mission to help all of us live our best lives through chiropractic wellness. We know the grind of training and playing and can it can take a toll on your body. But thanks to Adjust in RV, we found a way to stay at the top of our game. They have our backs, literally. They've helped us improve our performance and keep us inspired for better health every day. So Hokie Nation, whether you're an athlete or just someone who wants to up their wellness game, check out Adjust in RV. You can find out more at www.adjustnrv.com. It's super easy to set up an account and book your first appointment completely online. Because when you feel your best, you can be your best. Thanks to Justin RV for keeping us in the game and go Hokies. Okay, guys, now we're going to get into the meat of the episode. We are going to quiz each other on our home country. I, I would say these are, well, I, mine are like common facts for American citizens. Are those like common facts or are they hard? I mean, I took the quiz and I, I think I got two wrong out of them. Okay. So, so. yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm going to be so bad. Do you <laughs> want to just go like one, one, one? Um. Oh, should we keep the, uh... I want to go back and forth. Okay. No? Yeah, we can. Okay, I'll start. Please make them... Uh, Do they go, like, easy to hard or something? No. <laughs> okay, great. I'll just start with you first. What is the capital of the USA? The capital of mm -hmm. the USA? Washington, D.C.? Yeah. Say more confident. Washington, D.C. Woo! Uh, one for one. Okay. Well, I was gonna... No, that's too easy. Do you know the capital of Australia? <laughs> Oh, what's the capital of Australia? Uh, what's it Georgia, I'm telling you, nothing will be too easy for me. I don't know anything. Okay. Um, like, I, I, if you ask me to name the states, do that next. Because no. that'll well, be okay. Well, how many states are there? No, no, that's next. I am overwhelmed. The capital of Australia, I don't know. Is it Canberra? Yeah. Okay. I was not confident with that at all. Can I ask you another question? Okay, sure. What was the capital before Canberra? The capital before Canberra. When yeah. did it change? In 19... Uh... Give me a second. Okay, but I wasn't alive. No. Oh, it was from. It got changed in nineteen like twenty seven. Nineteen twenty seven. Okay, was it Sydney, Melbourne? Okay. Okay, I'm kind of close. I got the first one. Okay, the next one. What currency is used in the USA? USD. Yeah, US. US dollar. Yeah. 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 That was an easy one, but I want to give you some confidence before they get... Damn, I want to put you through it. Like, this is basic stuff for us, but... Okay, what? Which was... Who was the explorer that arrived at Botany Bay? I've never even heard of Botany Bay. Who was the explorer? Give me a hint. What does it rhyme with? <laughs> what does it rhyme with? That's, Magellan? He's, he, he's obviously British, but he has a university named after him. Georgia, that, that, you can't do something. That doesn't help me at James, all. James Cook. James Cook. No. I never would have said that. That is a very basic name, though. If you, you Next time, you should have said, like, it rhymes with Bames Mook. Okay. Okay, and then I can try to figure it out. That's, like, the only way I'm going to get anything. Okay, here's a good one. How many stars are there on the U.S. flag? 52. What makes you say 52? Because it's the how many states you guys have. So we have 52 states? No. <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> I can see where you're getting 52 from, but no. 36? <laughs> no. no, you're closer with 52. Just do, just subtract two. Oh, 50? Yeah. Oh. You were close. I know why you're thinking that. Is it because it's uh, territories? It's no, it's because we have 48 continental. Oh, and then the, and then that's what like Alaska and, and Hawaii. Those aren't territories, though. Those are states. States, okay. So, yeah, Alaska and Hawaii. Okay. Yeah. At least I knew which one the two were. Yeah, no, I. that's why I, I knew why you said 52. Okay. Australia is the world's fourth largest exporter of which drink? Um, beer? Dang it. Exporter of, is it some sort of alcohol? Wine? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm surprised beer, well, I guess. I guess we drink, well, I think. you drink, Just because you drink a lot doesn't mean you export a lot. Yeah. Yeah, you probably import a lot. Yeah. Um, Okay, what was the last state to join the United States of America? This happened in like 1950 or something. Yeah, it, it will make sense. It's, I can give you a hint if you really need it. Do you guys know these? I'm curious. Just make a guess. It makes sense. Like it wouldn't be something 
in the middle. I want to say like New Mexico. No. That's a decent guess though. It's Hawaii. Um. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Um. Melbourne has the largest population of which nationality in Europe? Um. In Europe? Like from the Europe, like from Europe. Oh, I was going to say an Asian country. So from Europe? Yeah. I literally told you this. You told me this. Germany? No. Okay. <laughs> um, How many accents did you Oh, Greek. Have? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Literally, we went to Greece and every second person I was like, like twitching. Yeah, there were we a lot went, of- First of all, it was like embarrassing because like, not embarrassing, but we were at like poolside and this guy had like chatted up some like Greek chick and he's like trying to like- not he's trying what, to flex. What are you talking about? There was two things. You, uh, they were happening right behind me. Okay. This is like the first day we got there. Okay, okay. And I was listening to the stuff he was saying, and I was like, okay, cool. Second one was my mate Maria at the jewelry store. Oh, yeah. I look at her. She's talking to me. I'm like, where are you from? Yeah. And she was like, Greece. Like she gave me sass. I said, babe, where the accent, babe? I, I hear it. Yeah. There was a lot of crossover. There, there was. was. Okay. I did know that. I did know that. This is like on the spot. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. Can you sing the first line of our anthem or say the title of our anthem? Um, you know the title. No, because I'm trying to say God Save the Queen. <laughs> um, you, you, she does this before every oh game. Oh my god. I'm trying to remember it. I have it. You need me to hum I it? Do you want me to hum it? it? Yeah. Mm. Oh, say can you see? Let's see how long you can go. What's up? Are you saying words? It's the twilight. Uh, uh, this is uh, the most patriotic I've ever heard her. Through brush doors and bright stars. <laughs> and it gets kind of quiet in the middle because that's when I like zone out. <laughs> For the land <laughs> of the free. Okay, yeah, I know that. Yeah, um, do you I know, know what it's called? It's called Home of the Brave. <laughs> no, it's a Star Spangled Banner. Oh, stop. Oh, you need that. You need that. I know, I know. Shocking. I know, I know. It's okay. Um, What is our emergency service number? Ooh, is it 111? No. Is it 000? Zero, zero, zero? Yeah. Okay. That was good for me. Okay, what's UK? Okay, you know ours. Yeah. Let's say it. 911. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Have you ever had to dial 911? I have not. Have you ever had to dial 000 in Australia? Um, no. Okay. Thank- thankfully. Yeah, you're doing well then. Um, okay, this doesn't really have anything to do with us, but I think this is an interesting trivia question. So, the USA is the third largest country in the world. What are the first and second largest? Countries? Yeah. Russia? Mm-hmm. Russia and... Uh, <coughs> are we talking land size? It must be. It's not population. Russia and China? Mm-mm. That's what I would have said, too. Australia? Mm-mm. Like, this, I, I wouldn't have said that. This is Canada? Yeah. Yeah. yeah but I, Canada, Canada never emptiness. comes to mind, but yeah. Yeah. yeah there's Russian, Canada, and US. That's interesting. What marsupial features on our coat of arms? I don't even know what those words mean. What is a marsupial? <laughs> is it like a bug or animal or whatever? An animal. And coat of arms, I don't know what that means. Like I don't know. Raccoon, logo. koala, your logo. It's not a raccoon or a koala. Not a raccoon. I didn't mean that. Wait. Koala, what the heck is the other? Oh, kangaroo. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sorry about that. Um, okay, what is our national bird? What's the US national bird? The eagle. Okay. <laughs> the bald eagle. The bald eagle. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't want to offend him. He might be bald and no, prematurely. I'm kidding. <laughs> um, okay. Okay. What is our largest terrestrial predator? terrestrial predator the largest in size like i or think like, no i think it's talking about like the lot like the more, more like threat the highest threat is it some sort of snake i don't know if it's no it's not a snake no well remember we went to the thing and there were like snake bites on the account yes and, like, yes people yes, panic yes. about them for no reason is it okay i need some more detail is it a spider no it's like a, it's kind of furry it's kind of furry would i know th- oh is it um uh, no, it's not a drop bear. No. <laughs> we are those fake. I forgot. Drop bears. Kind of looks like Winnie. It looks like Winnie? A deer? <laughs> I'm just kidding, you don't have a kangaroo? Yeah. 
But the kangaroo probably is, right? People hit them all the time. No. Georgia, I'm not going to know this. A dingo. A dingo. I literally never would have said that. Really? I don't know what that is. I yeah, don't... I've never talked about a dingo took my baby. <laughs> no. yeah. well, I don't know. I'm putting that on after. If you guys have heard that, I remember as a kid, like this was like the biggest like national thing that I can remember. Because obviously as a kid, you remember different. <laughs> a dingo. When obviously he... you remember different things. But I remember... On like sixty minutes, they were like still investigating that case, and it was I, real. Yes. Oh my god, I thought you were just saying that was like a story. No. No. Okay, I had no idea. Um, this was also one that I would probably struggle with, but I want to see what you're gonna say. How many states is New England made of? New you would have no idea. Oh six. my god, Vermont. <clears throat> There's six, but yeah, name them. Vermont, Boston, uh, not Boston, New. What What is Boston in? Massachusetts. Uh huh. Vermont, Massachusetts. Um, New England. That's not a state. <laughs> New, New England has six states. It's okay, you got this. What does it say? Vermont? Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Where is half our team from? Connecticut. Connecticut. What's our smallest state? It's the smallest one. It's RI. Rhode Island. Rhode Island. What's you do you know the northernmost it's where like I'm thinking a lot of lobster, a lot of crab cake, yeah, yeah, a lot of Yeah. I don't know if you I don't know if you'll know these two. New Hampshire and Maine. New Hampshire. That's what I was gonna say New Hampshire, I said okay. that. Okay. You said oh, I said New England. I said New England, I was <laughs> New Hampshire. And Maine. Maine's Maine. like the rich, like I don't know. Holiday house. Sure. Isn't it like a lot of books are written in Maine, right? They're written in Shot by Evans like in her song. Lifeguards imported oh, from, from Spain. Spain. Towels imported from, from Turkey. Turkey. And Turkey imported, imported from Maine. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna relax. Yeah, so we've been listening to that a lot. Okay. When did we gain independence from Britain? Uh, like the, what what hundreds? Eighteen oh. Eighteen hundreds? Seventeen hundreds? Nineteen hundreds? Dang Australia. <laughs> I forgot how young you were. Okay. <laughs> um yeah, I mean, those are all my easy ones. The rest of them aren't easy. Okay, go ahead, though. So do you think... Okay. Um, do you know what uh, country the Statue of Liberty? Country. Yeah, what country gave us the Statue France. of Liberty? Oh, yeah! Hey! That's, see, if you ask me something like that about Australia, I would have <laughs> literally no idea. Um, let's see, let's see. What year was the Sydney Opera House opened? The Opera House. Duh. That's Nin like our living. 1940. Am I close? Which way? Earlier or later? Later. Later. 1980? 1960? 1970? 1971? 73? Okay, 1973. I had no idea. Wow, that's actually younger than I... Well, I guess Australia is just young, young. so it's like yeah. hard to... Okay. Um, what is... This is easy. What is the most populous city in the U.S.? Popular or populated? Populous. Populated. Los Angeles? New York? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's one or the other. Yeah. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. You go do. I want these ones, these ones are a bit hard because, like, some of them... Okay. Which of these is like our official name? The United States of Australia, the Commonwealth of Australia, the Republic of Australia, or the People's Australia? Uh, well, if you got free, wait, I don't know, but you're in the Commonwealth. Uh, I feel like the People's Australia is cool, isn't it? Is that? Cool. No. Okay, um, Republic? No. Okay, Commonwealth. Commonwealth. Okay, I thought it was going to be Commonwealth, and then I was going to give you guys a benefit we, like, of the doubt. We, like, gained independence, but... <clears throat> yeah, I'm confused by that. She says that, but then they still have the Queen on other stuff, and... The King now, sweetie. Oh, sorry. Wait, did they actually change all of it? It's changed. It's starting to change work? now. Mint, do, uh, minting do they, changes. So do you trade it in, or do they just phase it out? I think... I don't know if they phase it out. I think we just get... To be fair, she did live for a long time, so I can't... Yeah. Like, I don't know like, how can you? Before. Yeah, how did that work before? I don't know if it even works before. Like, I couldn't even tell you what our money looks like how many years ago. Yeah. Because it was, um, our money is um, kind of waterproof. Plastic yeah, yeah. No, it's very different. Um, okay, these are kind of like pop culture. Uh, and this also just pertains to me. So do you know what state Taylor Swift was born in? 
Oh, I know that was it's legit not, on this. I know it's not Tennessee because she moved there. Period. She was born. I don't know if you'll. I don't know if you'll know. I don't know how you would know this. She grew up on a Christmas tree farm. It still has to be in like the. She has a country accent. <laughs> mm-hmm. She was born in Vermont. Mm-hmm. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Do you have another one ready, or do you need me? What is our me? population, like nearest population? population? This quiz was in. Sorry, oh, actually, that's really unfair because this quiz was from 2013. Okay, I'll just guess. Uh, Eight million. Is that tiny or? No, that's, you did what I did when I thought the world's population was eight was something million instead of eight billion. <laughs> is it eighty million? No, it's, it's way less than that. Okay. 23. I would think America's really? America's okay. Yeah, I guess America is. Oh. <clears throat> just guess around right now. I just have an approximation. Like 800,000? Sorry, 800,000? 800, 800 million? No, way less. It's like 330 million or something. 350 maybe now. I don't know. Somewhere around that there. so funny. Yeah. Okay, I think just one more. I don't I don't want you guys to get bored. Okay. Yeah. In what year did, okay, it was Indigenous People's Day. I don't want to, this is controversial. This says, when did Christopher Columbus discover the Americas? Discover being controversial. When did Christopher Columbus arrive? I also don't know how you would, like, I'd be so impressed. I was in an American Indigenous class. Oh, that's true. He came, oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, don't put too much pressure on yourself. I'm stressed. Don't be stressed. I know you have exams and stuff. This isn't worth your stress. Was it like the 1600s? No. It was 1492. It's 14. Okay. Do you have one more for me or no? Winnie's, mind you, tearing up her bed right now. And we're just <laughs> letting it happen. She's um, fully pulling all the stuffing out. Yes. Okay. What company produces Vegemite? Is it Walkers? Um, is oh. it Heinz? Is it Kraft? Uh, is it Kraft? Yeah. Okay, that was I, I did that because I knew you would think Kraft, like, food, like, processed food. Yeah. <laughs> they Rapatees. make something in a jar. Yeah. Or uh, definitely a lot of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well. That lasts forever. I had fun with that, I think. I want you to quiz me more off camera. I really want to test my knowledge. Okay. Yeah, well, we don't want to bore you guys anymore. Well, let us know what you thought. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was nice to switch it up, but... Yeah. I, If anything, I want to be quizzed more on the American stuff. Yeah? You don't want to quiz me on Australia? Well, I feel like it's a little unfair. It is hard. I kind of want to, like, not flex, but I want to really actually test how much I remember from my four years. Okay. Ooh, okay. I can try it. Okay. We'll work out something for the next episode, guys. Thanks so much for listening. We appreciate you. Yeah. You retweet. Good? Okay, retweet. Can't wait to get quizzed um, on again later <laughs> yeah oh also dang i meant to say this at the beginning we did eat before this podcast so did you guys notice if somebody said that they noticed or they wondered why we had so much energy and then it's because we said we were eating before you guys like i couldn't even just like explain how depleted we get mm-hmm. Post- like, normally we don't have time to, to eat. oh my god and you think we've just burned like what two thousand <laughs> depends on the probably practice. more <laughs> depends on the practice uh anyways daily someone's natural daily allowance is gone in yeah. three hours so now we're gonna try to eat before because we have way more energy but we need to go because Winnie is Winnie. making a mess <laughs> i would show you but i'll spare you um on that note i'm liz i'm georgia and we're queens of castle bye <laughs>